What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Beckers, bringing you a Black Ops 3 commentary today. We're going to talk about do does Call of Duty need patches in their games? Um, it's an interesting topic that I've come across because um, now that they're going to be doing a uh, is it a two-year two cycle? I believe it is. That means that surely they won't need to patch the game as much because the developers can sort of go through the game sort of in a fine tooth comb fashion uh, before it comes out so surely that means they won't need to send out patches as much because I'm sure like MW3 so I don't think they send out patches on that one that one's probably the best game I've ever played without patches um, I must admit some games do need them like MW2 for the noob tubes but it's a bit in my mind Patches sometimes ruin the game. I mean, look at the Vespa. Did that really need a, a recoil nerf? I mean, that doesn't make sense to me. Because surely you'd want to make the damage more sort of uh, less sort of consistent and make it so it's sort of usable. Because I'm finding that <laughs> I can't use the damn gun because it's so useless in terms of accuracy. Which it. An SMG, in my opinion, it was like what the Vespa was beforehand, apart from the fact that it shouldn't melt you that quickly, but it should kill you quite quickly. So, and then sort of struggle at a long distance, which it sort of did. You have to be quite accurate, tap fire it, which, in my opinion, is what an SMG should be like. It shouldn't be like, say, the Cooler, which is <laughs> an all-rounder where it just kills people up close quite quickly, and then long distance as well. So it's a bit, hmm... In my mind, that, that, that doesn't make sense. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed that the Vespa got nerfed in that regard, because I don't like a gun being nerfed to high heaven to the point where it's not usable. I mean, I wouldn't mind if the Vespa got a buff in the accuracy, but a nerf in over the damage or the fire rate, just a little bit. Um, which brings me to my second point about patches. When they patch weapons, they either do a really really bad job or they just completely and utterly destroy the gun like the Vespa for example um, I know they've they've uh, nerfed it because of the fact that it melted so quickly but it still melts but the accuracy just isn't there staying on target is a slight challenge but I I don't get why developers do this because why would you literally destroy a gun Nobody to use it, and then be satisfied with it. And then on the opposite scale, uh, so I think it's the MR6 that they nerfed recently, the fire rate. I, I don't notice a difference, to be honest. <laughs> um, it's a bit a bit weird for me because, well, let's be honest, you, you want the best for the game. You don't want to see all the guns being completely utterly destroyed, but at the other end, say the Brecky, the Argus, and the Haymaker. They need a nerf, they need a serious, serious nerf, because they're so easy to use. I mean, the Argos can kill you from almost 50 feet away, which is not right. I mean, they should break, uh, bring it back to where the KSG in Black Ops 2 was, where for a distance you had to get a headshot, which is actually, I thought that was a pretty cool idea, because that means you have to be exceedingly accurate, so you have to be very, very good with the gun. Um, and then there's the Breck in the Haymaker, which... <laughs> are so stupid, it's untrue. I mean, you can literally fire with that gun from hit fire and you constantly hit the dude. Um, you get like a two hit kill, I think it's with Brecky. Haymaker, I'm not too sure, but a two hit kill with a Brecky without laser sight? Fair enough if it had laser sight. That, that'd be fine. It doesn't. Um, so, that that needs a change in my opinion. Um, it's, it's a little bit annoying when somebody's just Spraying and praying, and it kills you quite quickly. And you've got no chance, even when you've got an SMG as well. Um, so it's a bit. Hmm. I, I, the thing that frustrates me is when developers. Because I, I know Black Ops 3 has had the two year cycle, uh, is, is, is now in a two year cycle. The thing is, though, it doesn't seem like they've actually done anything with the game in terms of testing it before they released it because it was. There's a few things wrong with it to start off with, and then they've just 
steadily and steadily made it worse and worse in terms of what they've done with the guns, with the ARs, the LMGs, some of the SMGs, uh, some of the shotguns that they've buffed for no reason when, yeah. Uh, I mean, fair enough if they buff the, the KRM, they buff that, that's fair enough because you want to make that equal towards the Argos in terms of um, ability to kill people, but when you then buff <laughs> the Argos even more in terms of distance, that doesn't make sense. I mean, I, I fully respect the ICR buff that they've recently done again, because they're trying to make it so that that gun is more usable. That is a big thumbs up for me, Triarch. I, I'm not slating you on that one, that one's actually a good idea because the ICR is a fun gun to use at long distance, but it's a long distance gun um, alone unless you put rapid fire on it, because then it becomes uh, sort of a hit marker machine up close when you don't have rapid fire on it, but I quite like the fact that they've buffed that gun to the point where it's almost outguns the Man of War and the Ark at distance. Up close, it's got, it hasn't got hope in hell, unfortunately, but... Um, hopefully they address that issue with the Man of War and the Ark, because even when you've got a sub, you get outgunned with it, which is quite frustrating, because an SMG is supposed to kill you up close, and they are as medium to long range. It shouldn't be a short-range weapon, or if it's a short-range weapon, it just about nicks in there and beats you to it, like the, um, oh, what's the gun that I remember from? Uh, the AK-12 from Ghost. Um, I'm not going to use any examples from AW because there's so many different variants that would say, I don't know, the Obsidian Steed that were OP, the um, uh, HBR A3 Insanity. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> That's more of an SMG to be honest. The uh, fire rate. Wow! Wow, 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 wow. Um, yeah, I... <sighs> I would like to see from all of the COD developers in next, um, their next game not to patch the game so much. I mean, fair enough if there's like bugs, people cheating, um, people spawning in in weird places, which by the way, Black Ops 3, why on earth did you change them when they were absolutely fine? You've made the spawns worse. Um, back to my point. Um, I'd like to see where COD developers take their time with the game because it's a two year cycle. You can probably do um, really really good work in two years compared to one year because I mean you can sort out things that are possibly wrong with the game before it even launches which is what I'd like to see because I don't want to play a broken game or a game that isn't the best as it sort of could be in terms of quality and type of gameplay with the guns like when it launches I know we've had that in the past but it's getting a bit eh, in the terms of well, I want to play a really good game. I don't want to play something that's half made, you know what I mean? Because um, I've seen that in one of the Halo games before, before it, um, they launched it, and it was virtually unplayable, and they sent out a patch, uh, which was quite big. Like, a couple of months later, still unplayable, from what I heard, but I'm not too sure if that was true. Don't quote me on that, but I definitely would like to see Treyarch or any other developer like uh, Sledgehammer and uh, Infinity Ward. I'm not just slating on Treyarch. To make their game um, virtually almost complete straight off and then not patch it. I mean, patch the exploits, like say, if the C4 was too strong or the frag grenades. Because the problem is that I have with this game, that my mentality is with Black Ops 3, is the fact that. It's had a two-year cycle, yet yeah, it looks like the developers have done nothing, and then when they try to patch it, they've just destroyed it even more, because the C4s, they've, they have they did something to them to make them, uh, so that when you chuck them, they wouldn't explode in your face. Um, I, the problem that I have, because I saw that, um, I, I thought that was a good idea, the problem that I have now <laughs> is the fact that you can put a C4 on the ground on the actual spawn point, uh, say if the spawns flip. Teammate, the enemy teammates are pushing because this has happened to me and I was like what what can I do in that situation um, it and then I spawned in and then there was a C4 like right in front of me and it just and it beeped it let the dude know that I was there and it exploded I, it's almost like another um, trip mine which they're a bit annoying I have used the trip mine before in one of my videos um, I did get a kill not many but 
<coughs> it's. I don't really see like another a, another trip miner, if I'm honest, because that almost reminds me of ghosts back in the day when the IEDs were a little bit OP in terms of people using them constantly, blowing up your face. Yes, you can hear them, but um, the C4, I don't know if you can really capture it apart from wear a flat jacket, which, in my opinion, the, the other problem with this game as well, in my opinion, is that there's too many things to counter. I mean, you've got dead silence for awareness, fair enough, that's... That should be right, but then you've got in the same category, Tac Mask, which in this year's game, uh, I don't know if any other games have been like this, but the stuns have been seriously strong. Seriously, seriously strong. Because um, the. Um, in the bay there, oh my god, stuns were so bad. Every time you got stunned, you couldn't move for about, I think it was five seconds or something, maybe longer. That's. I, I, I don't like because you shouldn't be allowed to because there's so many things like there's so many perks to counter stuff you don't know what perk uh, like what perks to put in your class for that type of game I mean domination fair enough you should be wearing flat jacket but the problem is they are either popping up so many UAVs and you don't have teammates taking them down or you don't have a class to take them down or you need six cents because your UAVs are being taken down so quickly you can't find people, and you're having to put six cents on, or tracker, or the eagle perk, whatever it's called, to find people. And then you're having to sacrifice, say, I don't know, either fast hands, or attack mass with dead silence. I mean, I put awareness on, on all my classes, because the UAV is useless. They get shot down so quickly. It's just like, is there any point? I'm just giving you three points. No, I'm just going to pop a awareness on my class. The problem is, though, I am now susceptible to stuns, which can get quite annoying and another thing that I think needs changing in this game is shockwave and the only reason why I say this is because you cannot counter that specialist at all I mean even when I've got a uh, tack mask on on the rare occasion that I have it I get I, I still can't do anything because it just literally makes me uh, stay still for about uh, about 10 seconds or so and I can't do anything even with tack mask because the tack mask doesn't seem to affect it which is a bit odd Hey, um, so yeah, I'd like to see from the COD developers uh, in the two-year cycle that they're going to be doing some like proper proper work where they're going to be like testing the game before they launch it as well. Because from what I can tell, in the past couple of COD games, they haven't tested it in my opinion when they first launched it. I mean, yes, they've given us the beta, they've let us be guinea pigs and test things. But they didn't sort things out, like the kill streaks. I mean, I must admit they did sort out the wraps in this one, which fair play. But the problem is now you've added jetpacks into this, and people are now jumping up and trying to escape them, which is a bit. It, this game has had had so many problems with it, and it had so much potential in the start in the beta. It just makes me a little bit frustrated. I'd like to see, um, if because I know that they're, I think they're bringing out a DLC kill streak. Um, I'm not too sure what it is, but I'm hoping it is the swarm because the wraps, yes, fair enough, they're on the ground. Yeah, that's fine. But you shouldn't be allowed. <laughs> I know the jetpacks have been including this. If there's no jetpacks, people will probably struggle and think, oh, wraps are OP, but they're high kill streak. They're supposed to get you quite a few kills, if I'm honest. I mean, the mothership's just awful. Um, but I'd like to see. I'd like to see the swarms implemented in this game. I think that would make this game more fun because I think they should also make the swarms non-targetable in terms of uh, anti-aircraft. I mean, you can shoot them down, that's fair enough. But I'd like to see the fact that swarms come in, um, a, well, a, a different name for the swarm. They'll probably call it uh, air assault or something like that, I don't know. Uh, I'd, I'd like to see the swarm come back in and do some damage because then you can have the wraps which take people out on the ground properly and then say if people jump up onto something high like on the combine there's so many things to jump up on like billboards generators little bits of square building and just randomly sat there for campers to cover behind and they just avoid the wraps either that or make the wraps jump up a little bit i mean that would be that would be interesting if they did do that because it's that they're willing to um, improve the game and make it to the fact that 
you can sort of, you know, have a little bit more fun with the killstreaks because the problem is, killstreaks aren't that good in this game. Yet, yeah, they've got the ability to be good, but Trey, I can't do anything about it. So that's what's making me a little bit in terms of the patches because they nerf the weapons to the point where they're unusable. And then they buff certain weapons that aren't needed to be buffed, and they're not sorting out the kill streak, which is the main problem in the COD, uh, COD game. Because let's be honest, you want to play a COD game because you want to be destroying the other team with either kill streaks or your weapon. And if your weapon isn't doing it, you want your kill streaks to do it, and vice versa. And it's a bit well, I want my kill streaks to kill people, not tickle people. It's a bit eh. I mean, look at the lightning strike in the hellstorm. I know they've, they've sort of tried to sort it out, but it's just the fact that it's still not there to where the bailer was. I've wanted to see that health store back, because you can counter the health store. You can actually shoot it down, go in the building, or I don't know if flat jacket helps, but no flat jacket does. I know the lightning strike's been destroyed completely, which I'm not too sure if I'm a big fan of, because you've got all these other kill streaks, like the sentry gun, which can be taken out by a rocket launcher. Which is yeah, I'm not a fan of if my if I'm completely honest because you want a low kill streak that does some damage because I mean I know they've buffed the Cerberus hugely which I'm thankful for because that thing was a useless toilet feature uh, but the problem is now it's almost like it's too slow it can't find people I know you have to put it in a certain area but it's like the fact that when if the spawns flip and it's like where do I go? Did, 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 did. I can't find people. Did, 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 did. It stays in the same area. I like to see it move. I don't know if you can give it a command to say move to this part of the map. I mean, that would be pretty cool, but I don't know. I don't know if they would be willing to do that or not to make the game a little bit more fun because it's not as fun as it could be, in my opinion. Because I like to see the kill streaks improve because we've had AW, which was just horrendous. Horrendous with the kill streaks. They didn't do anything about it either, by the way. I'm not just slating Treyarch, but Sledgehammer didn't do anything about the kill streaks. Although I don't think they could because of the maps, which was a little bit odd. The fact that they made them more indoorsy type maps, virtually. I mean, um, some of the map. Uh, I can't remember which what the name of the map was, but it's one that's like a nightclub out top of the rooftops. Um, you can go inside so many times. I mean, I'd like to see. A, a, a sledgehammer did do something in that game previously to say they put a kill streak on the ground that goes and kills around and kills people like the rats for instance that's a good idea it's just the problem the fact that the jetpack anyways i'm gonna leave it there um i'd like to know your comments on uh if the patches should stay in the game or not or should only stay in for like fixing the game where it's say i don't know new tubes are absolutely ruining the game um, say people are exploiting a, sp a specific place on the map or they're hacking which I think they have tried to sort that be uh, Black Ops 2 but I'm not too sure um, anyways I'd like to know your opinions leave a like and subscribe if you're new apart from that I shall say ta ta for now